Hi everyone, this is Mr Neil Reiter, also known as the Wax Whisperer. Thank you for joining me in my latest video. This is of a patient who attended with really thick, hard and encrusted dead skin, so what we call keratin, that was embedded um, on their eardrum. And they are also a hearing aid wearer. And their main symptoms caused by this crusted hard skin uh, was that the hearing aid was whistling, they were getting acoustic feedback. And when I first inspected the ear, this skin looked a bit soft, if, I, if truth be told, and I thought it would be pretty straightforward to remove. But as soon as I made contact with it, using I'm using a fine suction probe here because we're really, really deep in the ear. As soon as I made contact with it, I could feel how hard and crusted it was. So I immediately put some olive oil um, spray into the ear, which just helps to soften uh, this dead skin. And at the moment, what I'm doing, I'm just suctioning the excess oil. And now I'm just, again, touching the surface and I'm just trying to get a suction grip. When it's really hard and crusted, it's quite hard at times to get a suction grip. Now, of course, this skin, and uh, it's too deep in to use any of the instrumentation. You can't use a hook or a scoop because you'll um, obviously hit the eardrum. You can't use forceps because there's nothing to grab onto. So I'm going to have to rely on suction here. And this, what this oil has done, it's just softened this dead keratin just enough and now I'm starting to peel away. So we can see the back part of the eardrum already. So this skin, the reason why it's, it's uh, embedded onto the eardrum is that as the eardrum itself, this, the outer layer of the eardrum is made up of the same skin that we're peeling at the moment. In fact, this skin was originally on the eardrum. So that blue tinge you can see, that's a layer of skin. And this yellow dead skin that I'm removing at the moment, that was originally on this patient's eardrum and but as the skin dies and sheds in the ear it migrates outwards like a conveyor belt towards the entrance of the ear and in this patient and it is a chronic problem the skin fails to fully migrate it gets lodged within their isthmus so the isthmus is a narrowing of the ear canal about half a centimeter away where we are now then the ear canal widens again and it what it does it creates a recess inferiorly so at the bottom so where i am now trying to lift this out of the recess that's called the inferior recess it's like a base in a trench and also a recess at the front of the ear canal on the left hand side and that's called the anterior recess so Going to be really careful because we're right up against the eardrum here but you can just see that skin it's taken the shape it's molded itself um, in the same shape of the ear ear canal anatomy so where the recess is you can see it's curled inwards and it comes back up and i'm trying to lift this out of the recess but it's trapped so i'm going for a different angle of attack i'm going towards the anterior recess and i'm just following the skin and i'm gonna there's the point where it's it's on the anterior canal wall. So what my uh, thinking is here, let's peel this off gently off the anterior canal wall. We've got to be so careful because we're on the bony part of the ear canal. If I make contact with the, the canal wall here, it would be really uncomfortable for the patient. And you can just see how thick this skin is and how I did it is. And I'm just peeling away. And Eureka, I've got it not only off, out of the interior recess, but also the inferior recess. We're just going to remove this. And the patient immediately felt a lot better and the, the hearing had stopped uh, whistling at them. And that's the eardrum. So it gives you, you can see to the left how deep and prominent that anterior recess is. Now this is the same patient, it's just their right ear. You can see the eardrum then. Uh, they also wear a hearing aid in here. Now they weren't experiencing any problems here, but whilst they were here today, I just decided to get this out for them because it, yeah, I'm pretty sure in the next few weeks uh, this is also going to get blocked and then I'll have to come back so with this skin um, it was a bit soft I didn't need to use the drops here so we're just peeling this away it is a bit soft. it's dry but it's a bit it's got a bit of moisture there as well so it's not embedded it's not crystallized and I'm just gently peeling this away I wanted to avoid the drops wherever possible just because the patient is a hearing aid wearer and they're going to leave the clinic wearing the hearing aid and I don't want their ear to be oily if at all avoidable and the left side we had no choice because it, it can just block up the, their ear so the, the hearing aid so I've just gone to the roof of the ear canal and I'm just peeling this downwards off the roof and this skin actually 
it's all the way on the eardrum. And you'll see that in a moment, which I, when I first looked at the eardrum, I didn't think there was a layer of dead skin on the eardrum. But as I was peeling this away, you could see the skin coming away from the eardrum. So I've just sort of peeled it from the roof and then go into the back part of the ear canal here. So this is the right, the right ear. And once more, this skin that I'm peeling away right now, particularly, that was on the eardrum originally, and it's just died and shedded, but it hasn't migrated out of the ear as it does for the majority of us. This skin just kind of should migrate out of the ear. So I've more or less loosened this. We're getting a bit of clarinetting there. So I'm going to, I had to put some oil at that stage because I was getting some clarinetting and I didn't want it to clarinet. Clarinetting is when you suction skin, it can violently flap at the tip of the suction probe or the sucker. And it, it emits a very loud high frequency squeal. It's loud for me as well doing the procedure. So um, you can just imagine how loud it can be for the patient and we want to avoid that. So the oil just helped. And I'm just peeling this off the bottom of the ear canal. I'm just slowly coming away. And you can see the eardrum there, that's nice and clear. So I'm just gonna go back in. I'm just gonna mop up some of this residual skin. You can see just how narrow this ear canal becomes it really closes in and it widens back out again and that's why the patient's having problems and i'm just there's a bit of oil trapped in the in, into uh, inferior recess i just went in with a sucker to clear it out um, patient is really happy i could hear hear once again well i hope you enjoyed that video guys keep well take care and remember be nice and be kind thanks bye